butterfly just crawled out. I mean, like, right now it was crawling out. I couldn't grab my phone fast enough. Like two seconds ago, it came out of that chrysalid right there. Becca, yeah. uh, a butterfly is coming out right now. Right, right now, it's coming out. It's like halfway out. Easy. Be careful. It's, hey, it's okay. Whoa. Oh, whoa. whoa! I know. Look at all that. How many butterflies we have now? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. I guess it was alive. I guess it was alive. It didn't die. And hopefully it won't die now. <laughs> You guys, this butterfly is still moving. The one we thought was dead. How can we get it out? I don't know, we can't pull it. Let's Dang. help him. Cause he's been sitting in there for a day. Oh I God, thought he was dead. All right, how do we, how do we get him out? What yes. does he need? What does he need? He needs to get out. Those are his wings. Yep, his wings are... Watch out, that's on. Oh. His wings are all bent up. Okay, does he need to come out of this thing? Is that what it is? Yep. Let's try. Let's do our best. I don't want to hurt his wings. Although they're already so bent. I turned up off his wings. Where you at? Where you at? I'm sorry if this hurts. Okay, Becca. Whoa, he's you... vibrating. He's vibrating. Will you go back upstairs? That's because he's trying so hard to get out of this. Will you go back upstairs? And? And get the black tweezers that are on my desk. Thank you. <gasps> Yay. He's Yay. hatching. Yay. Okay, is this his body or is this his shell? I don't know. Let him try to get out. You can do it, little guy. You can do it. Hold on. I feel like this needs to come off of his wing. Oh, it's all right, little guy. Yep, yep. You can do it. Climb, climb. Oops. I can't believe he's alive. Can you see this? I had to set my camera up so fast. There's a wing. Get it out. Get it out. This butterfly was born with a disability. Yep. But I think, I think we may have saved his life. What are you doing? He's alive. We're performing surgery. Why are they doing that? Because he was stuck in his cocoon and he couldn't get out and he was just laying there. We thought he died. I put some flowers in there and I put one next to him and he started like doing his legs and his tongue thingy. And I was like, oh my gosh, he's alive. And so I pulled him out really fast and I tried to get all this cocoon stuff off of him, all this shell off of him. Well, even if you do uh, get his wings out. Uh huh. Yep, I don't think he'll be able to fly. His wings are disabled. But he's still a butterfly. He's still a butterfly. And 
we can give him flowers and help him out when we can. I don't think he has two antennas. I'm going to try and, oh, that's a piece of shell. Okay, I'm going to try and pull. All right, little guy, I need you to turn around. Okay, I think, Ugh. I think that needs to come off. That's like a shell part. There we go. Come on. Don't kill him. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's better. That's better. We're getting it. We are performing surgery. This poor little guy was stuck in his cocoon thingy. And he tried to come out and he couldn't make it. And we left it alone. So he sat all day yesterday. And I thought he was dead, but then today when I put flowers in there, he started moving and trying to get to him. So I brought him out here and we just took off all of this, yeah. all of this shell that he couldn't get out of. He's like on it, pulling himself. <gasps> He's holding on, look at that. He's holding on. He is. Don't make it harder. Hold on, I'm so nervous. He is holding on to this flower for dear life. I'm impressed. Can you see that? There he is. Okay. He might live for a little while. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, we did the best we could. That was an emergency, emergency surgery. All right, I'm gonna set this back up on the piano. Excuse me. Hey guys, today is the day we are going to release our butterflies. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick what we have out here and I'll uh, talk you through it real quick. So we brought our butterflies out here. You can see them in there. Actually, I'll do this for you. There we go. We've got one, two, three, four butterflies. We've been giving them the sugar water and flowers from our yard. They seem to like it. Um, let's see, there's the one, oh, I think it might be covered up right now. The one that we had to do surgery on. There was the one that died that didn't make it. Um, that one curled up. That one was the one that was on the floor and did not make it. And then there was one chrysalis. Becca, you wanna hold that up? That hung up on here, that guy right there, and he never came out. And the only thing I can see is that it detached a little bit from that part right there. And I'm not totally sure what happened. Are you ready to release the butterflies? Yes, <laughs> We've been waiting for the weather to get better. Okay, hold on. Oh, are you gonna bring the cat over? All right, Paul, why don't you open it up and let's let the little guys out. <gasps> there goes one! See if you can keep track of where he went. Is it over there? All right, let's see if another one wants to come out. They're on the roses in there. They seem to like those roses. Come on out, little guys. You're free now. Go populate the garden. So hopefully they should stay in the garden area for a while. Um, their lifespan is only, you know, two to four weeks. So, oh, there goes another one. Bye, little guy. 
Oh, he's over there by the herbs. I see him. He's over there. Okay. You don't want to poke him, but you might put your hand in there and just help him come up. You don't want to grab him. Oh, <gasps> Becca, butterfly girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why don't you put him on one of the roses right behind you? I can't believe he just went on your thumb. Look at that. <gasps> there he goes. You're my butterfly girl. Oh, there he is. Right there. Well, hopefully he finds the flowers. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. That's all of them. You could take the flower out. There's the one that we did surgery on right there that just didn't make it. That's the one that didn't, didn't live long, but lived longer than we thought. I see one. Another one. Yep, they're right there. They're hanging out, which is a good sign. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty right there. Did you see where the other one went? Is he right there? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Here, I would just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Let him figure out where he wants to go. All right, you guys, that is our butterfly journey um, for now. Hopefully, they'll reproduce out here in the garden and we'll have more butterflies. So maybe you guys could do your own butterflies too. I know that they're beneficial for a lot of reasons and can um, just really help have like a, a healthy, ecosystem a healthy environment they're good pollinators all that kind of stuff so check out getting your own butterflies maybe i'll link uh, down in the description where i got ours and uh, i'm hoping that these guys will hang around and do a whole life cycle so all right see you guys later